Did you know students who hate right triangle geometry are dead wrong? This math keeps your school from collapsing. Now, a lot of students think that right triangle geometry just isn't useful in their everyday life. But I'm gonna prove you wrong right now. In this problem right here, we wanna figure out what H is in relation to A and B. In real life, if you have an incorrect H, it's gonna mess up your entire building. It's gonna fall flat on your head. Now, let's go ahead and solve this problem. Because we know we're working with a right triangle, we know we gotta use SOHCAHTOA, which if you don't know is sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. Now, if we take a look at this right here, we can see that in relation to H, the angle that we're trying to solve for is opposite of it, and we have the adjacent lengths given to us as A and B respectively. That means that we're going to be using tangent opposite over adjacent. Now, because we know we're going to be using tangent, we can easily solve for these two equations right here. Tangent of x is equal to that h over the little a right there. So we know that h is going to be equal to a times tangent of x. That's the first one done. For the second one, we know for this small triangle right here, tangent of 90 minus x is equal to h over b because this is the adjacent of the small triangle. Now we know that for this one, H is equal to B times tangent of 90 minus X. You with me so far? But wait, we can do something to make our lives a lot easier. We know that H is equal to B times tangent of 90 minus X. This right here is a property. You can call this H is equal to B of cotangent of just X. So now we don't have to deal with that 90 minus x term anymore. We can just deal with it in cotangent. So now all you need to do to solve for h is just multiply the first equation by that second equation. You're gonna have h squared is equal to a times b times tangent of x times cotangent of x. Now tangent and cotangent of x, they just cross each other out. Aha, so now we just have h squared is equal to a times b. Now all we need to do is take the square root of both sides and we know that h is gonna be equal to the square root of a, b. And that is how you solve this problem. You just mastered the mathematical foundation that keeps every building you've ever walked into from collapsing. When SAT geometry feels abstract, just remember this. This isn't just about math class busy work. This is the difference between safe spaces and deadly disasters. You're learning the language of safety itself. If you want to crush your SAT and understand why colleges are bringing back test requirements and affecting your admission chances, I reveal exactly what's happening and what students must do in one of my YouTube videos. Just comment the word blueprint and I'll show you exactly what's really changing in college admissions.